Hey viewers, after a long time I have come up with a tutorial and on this tutorial I will show you very easy process of making professional edit. Therefore I am going to take a copy of this background layer. Now I will make it dodge and burn on the very easiest way. So I'm going to give the blending mode to overlay. Ignore it what is happening on here. Then just double click on the background copy layer. So on the blending option of a uh, general so on the blending option and general blending option here you are seeing an underlying layer of a gray scale now press the alt button and click on this arrow now drag the right arrow here it looks okay now again press the alt button and click on this arrow. Now drag the left arrow here. Now it looks okay. Well, we have done the dodge and burning. So now we can make this dodge and burning on this area only because we don't need to give the dodge and burn on the whole artboard. Therefore, take a mask of this layer and press the Ctrl and I now here the mask is all blank therefore take a brush tool and give the foreground color white now brush on the area where we want to take the dodge and burning like this It looks a burden here, therefore I am decreasing the opacity. Around 70% is okay. Now check what was before and what is now. This was before and this is now. Now I am going to take some adjustment layer to give a feel of color go to adjustment layer and take color lookup and from color lookup I am taking the soft warming look so after the soft warming uh, it looks like this uh, and here I am going to reduce the opacity a little bit not much 77% is okay. So here again I am going to take another adjustment layer which is gradient. Now from this gradient bar just take this gradient. And give the blending mode to screen. So here you are seeing that the gradient is very overdone therefore I am going to reduce the opacity twenty one percent is quite okay 
Now I'm going to take another adjustment layer which is the levels. On this level, here the area is black and here the area is also. Therefore, just I am dragging these arrows here and these arrows here. Now it looks better than before. Now check what was the initial photo and what is now. Just press the Alt button and click on this eye. So this was the initial photo and this is now. Now we are going to make the second part of this color correction. For the second part of the color correction, we must need to merge all of the layers. Therefore, just press Ctrl Shift Alt and E. So here is a merged layer which is named layer 1. Now I am going to make it now I am going to make it smart object. Therefore click on right button and take the convert to smart object. So this layer is converted to the smart object. Now we can change the value if we want. Therefore go to filter and take the camera row filter. So on camera row filter we will do the final color correction. So here I am giving a little bit exposure and a little bit contrast also. And here I am decreasing the highlights a little bit and giving a clarity also. Now here I am giving the vibrance positive around 10 and giving the saturation to negative. Now I am going to HSL which is hue saturation and luminance. On the saturation portion we will give the green uh, a lowest at possible and decreasing the orange a little bit. and decreasing the red as well now I'm going on luminance and here decreasing the greens also and decreasing the yellow also increase the red and orange now I'm going to hue on hue portion just give a positive yellow and positive green Now click on OK. So this was the before of the color correction on camera row filter and this is the after of the color correction of camera row filter. Now I am going to add a light on this photo therefore I am taking a blank layer. I am taking the brush tool. and taking the foreground color yellowish increase the brush size Let's click on the middle and keep the blending mode to screen and now reposition this line 
On this photo we are seeing the light is coming from this side therefore I am giving this light on here and making it a little bit larger and here I would decrease the light a little bit therefore I am decreasing the opacity around 71% is okay now I am going to give a Bignity effect if we use the preset Bignity then the Bignity effect will count at center but here our subject is on the left side therefore we need to give the Bignity effect on the subject basis therefore click a new layer so here is new layer created now take a brush tool and take the foreground color is whole black now brush all over the artboard so here we done now take a layer mask for this layer and take the foreground color white Now we should take the foreground color black and take the brush tool and click on the middle of this photo. Now reposition it as respective to subject. Think it's okay now the light is gone on this area therefore we need to remove this bignity from here now take the brush tool again and uh, take the foreground color black and reduce the opacity here and just brush on this area so here is our light now check what was before the Bignity and what is now. This was before and this is now. But we need to reduce the opacity. So this is what we done. Now check what was the initial photo and what is now. So this was the initial photo and here is after the professional edit. Now decide which one is better. I think you liked this professional edit. If you like this tutorial so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep liking and commenting. Thank you.